Aloha! You are watching F5 On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today I'm going to show you In 5 Minutes or Less how to export your FirePass configuration into an XML file to make it easier to then configure your Big IP Access Policy Manager or Big IP Edge Gateway for a FirePass migration. Haven't done one of these in a while. Let's see how it goes. So let's start the clock. So I'm here as a user, but I'm also here as an admin. I'm going to log on to the administrative console of my FirePass. You would just go to the FirePass name or IP address forward slash admin or forward slash stats and click go. And I'm in here. And also as a user, by the way, if you're a user and also have administrative access, you can go in as a user, get to your web top, and then over here on the left is the administrative console icon if you have access. You would click on that and also get to the same location either way. And so first, you want to make sure that you have the hotfix for the FirePass XML um, configuration export. And that would be hotfix 3590121-1. How do you find out if you have it or not? If you just go to Current Settings under Device Management, you can see all the various information about your FirePass. And right here it says FirePass Hot Fixes. That's where you'd want to check. Now I have the cumulative 70-5 hotfix. If I click on that, you can see included in the dash 5 cumulative is 3590121. So then we want to go to maintenance. If you don't have the hotfix, by the way, you would just click on local update, put in your password, whatever you uh, chose from downloads.f5.com or whatever F5 support gave you as the password for the hotfix when you requested it from support. And of course, you would then just choose the file, click it, hit submit, and then the hotfix will then be loaded onto the FirePass. So then we want to go right above local update to backup and restore. Now it's probably just a good idea to do or create a backup of your current configuration and log messages just as a protective measure. Now you might do it nightly, you might do it weekly as uh, most folks do for maintenance purposes and for backup purposes in case of an emergency. Uh, but now I've just created the full backup. It's down in my window here in the bottom. And then for the XML configuration export right here, uh, you can select one, two, all, or just click export all configurations. That's what most users do. And simply click export. And so now it's gathering all that information. It's now already downloaded. And so let's open that zip file so you can see here we have various XML documents first let's open uh, the summary and you might get the ActiveX control I'm just gonna leave it for purposes here and you can see here for the summary I get two master groups three resource groups three network access connections the various resource group names if we go back to here let's open device management and you can see here the various pieces of information under device management, the IP address of the device, broadcast address. If you want to scroll down, you can see name servers, the web service IP, the name of the FirePass, mail settings. Let's take a look at a couple more here. Say network access, open. And so here, too, you can see I have uh, split tunneling enabled. I have the home split. Uh, here's my LAN address space for this FirePass box, my DNS address space. And so there it is, all set up in an XML file to allow you to then be able to take this information and quickly configure your Big IP Access Policy Manager or your Big IP Edge Gateway. Just fire up an IAP template, fill in the blanks, and you're up and running with your configuration. And so there you have it. 
how to export, well, create and export the XML configuration report from your FirePass to then be able to easily configure your Big IP Access Policy Manager or Big IP Edge Gateway. So thanks for watching. This is Peter Silva for F5 Networks. Follow us online at www.f5.com or follow us on Twitter at F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.